हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत्रीकाल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विथ योर वाश ऑफ एट वारे वा डॉट कॉम टूडे वी विल गो फ्रॉम इटली टू लेबनॉन वील टेक द पिज्जा डो बट वी गोइंग टू पुट ए नाइस मीट स्टफिंग ऑन इट एंड मेक वन डिलीशियस स्नैक विच इज कॉल्ड स्वी हा आई मे नॉट बी एबल टू प्रोनाउंस इट राइट बट आई एम गोइंग टू मेक इट डिलीशियस टेस्टी स्नैक यू नो आई लव टू मेक दिस when i have the leftover pizza dough i just get some of the meat and make this preparation and the next day i have even more fun we're going to make a quick dough it's only to say it is a quick dough but you're going to let it ferment and it's going to take at least 2 hours to make this dough perfect but here i've got some dry yeast add some water add some sugar some salt that's good some warm milk and just make sure that uh, everything gets dissolved and add some olive oil this is a straight dough method i'm making it very simple just 3 grams of yeast 1 tablespoon of uh, sugar and pinch of salt little bit of olive oil water milk in this add flour 1 cup of all purpose flour then just make it into a dough just the way we make our uh, non dough or the pizza dough or whatever ah uh, i have to put my hand now to make this dough just let this dough ferment for around 40 minutes and then we going to make our sviha and uh, here i've got uh, mince meat you can make it with chicken mince or uh, lamb mince here i've got uh, lamb mince in this add pinch of uh, chili powder or paprika if you can get all of it this is kebab chini that is all spice powder this is cinnamon powder very little just to give a good flavor in this add uh, chopped onion tomatoes chopped i think i can add all of it chopped mint leaf chopped coriander leaf add just 1 teaspoon of yogurt some toasted pine nuts if you have or else you can substitute with some almond also and here is a tiny sauce which i have already put the video so see that It can be used in lot of middle eastern cooking this gives a very nice taste to lot of preparations and just mix all of these ingredients and we going to use it as a topping i have seen some of the chefs they don't use uh, curd or even tahini in this but uh, if you use tahini it makes it even more tasty i forgot to add salt so just little bit of salt not too much and they add pomegranate molasses i don't have so i'm going to add little bit of honey even if you make patties of this i'm telling you this will be super tasty wow the mixture is all ready now i'll take my simple yeast dough what i made and i'm going to roll it into a thin sheet and cut into small roundels now after 40 minutes of resting the dough just roll it thin like this just the thickness of a nice uh, thick chapati and then just cut it into small discs or else you know you can make a simple uh, small size uh, dough and just roll like a small puris just take uh, this mixture meat mixture and put a small dumpling on each of this um, this now take one of the edge and then fold it like this and another edge like this don't worry about the shape just like this this way what happens is when they get cooked the little bit sauce will remain in this pocket and that will keep this moist and juicy ah when you eat it it's awesome another way you can do is just wet the edges little bit if the dough is kept out for a long time you can make it like this and then fold it like this and again on the other side fold it like this just rub them with little bit of olive oil that will make these dumpling shine this is not a necessity even you can give little bit of egg wash if you want any of you who have done little bit of baking will understand what i am doing wow bake them in the oven at 200 degree centigrade for around 15 minutes then wow look at them look at them you know these pockets will retain all the juices that comes from this uh, nice tomatoes and the meat while they were in the oven the whole room is filled with a nice aroma wow ah mm with every bite you can feel the nice flavor of all spice and also the coriander and you get a piece of pine nut it's a great combination dear friends i hope you enjoyed today's session you know whenever you have a leftover pizza dough 
make it a point to make this and you will really thank me for this awesome dish. But do not forget, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking.